Hello everyone! Today I'm going to share with you the stationery I bought during my recent trip to Sweden as well as give my honest opinion on the items that I'm showing. I bought everything at the warehouse Oliens, except for the highlighters I'll be showing which I got in another store. I hope this can be helpful if you're considering getting any Muji items or anything else I'll be showing for yourself and I do hope that you enjoy this video. So let us just get started with the stationery haul. The first item I got for Muji was this keyring with index cards. It has 100 sheets which are actually quite thick, so the quality seems very good considering how cheap it was. I'll be using these for flashcards and since it's so small I can easily carry this around with me so that I can study on the go. The next thing I got is something that you'll recognize if you've seen my previous Muji haul and that is this 5 pack of B5 sized notebooks. I've been loving these ever since I first tried them out so I decided to get another pack. The pages are lined and the paper is just the smoothest I've ever tried out. Most pens and markers don't bleed through at all so it is perfect for highlighting. The spacing between the lines is also quite narrow, which is very useful if you have small handwriting like I do. The only downside is that they don't have that many pages, but the overall quality still makes these some of my all-time favorite notebooks. Next up is an item that I also got in my last Muji haul, and that is this notepad for to-do lists. I finished every single sheet of my last one, so I was very pleased to find that these were still in stock this year. These notepads are so simple and minimalistic, but at the same time practical, so they're definitely one of my favorite stationary items. This one was also very cheap, so I would highly recommend trying this out. Another thing I got was this small spiral notebook with dotted pages. I originally wanted a bigger one, but this one was the only notebook that didn't have blank or lined pages, so I just got it. The paper is very smooth, just like the B5 notebooks, and it lays flat, which I really like. It's too small to use as a bullet journal in my opinion, but I think I'll use it as perhaps an art journal or for swatches or something. Either way, I am glad I decided to get it, even though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Also for Muji, I got this 10 pack of ballpoint pens. I've been looking for some good ballpoint pens for a long time, and these ones might be the best ones I've tried out so far. The problem with a lot of ballpoint pens is that the ink tends to skip, but that is not the case with these pens. The ink is very smooth, so they're easy to write with, and the grip makes them comfortable to hold as well. I would definitely recommend these if you'd like some pens that work well for fast writing or highlighting. Next, we have these pens, which might be my favorites from this haul. I originally only got 5 of them, but I actually ended up going back to get all 12 colors. These are the Smooth Gel ink pens, and I got them in the size 0.5mm. These are definitely of much better quality than the regular Muji gel pens. The ink dries quicker so the pens don't smudge as much, and the ink doesn't skip either so they write incredibly smoothly. The colors are a bit darker than the regular pens, so they're perfect for color coding your writing. The price is a bit higher than for the regular ones, but I would say that they are definitely worth that small increase in price. The final item I got from Muji was this, which is an eraser kind of pencil. Not gonna lie, I may just have gotten this because it looked cool, but when I tried it, it actually worked really well. It's got this paper around that you tear off as you use the eraser, and I think this might last me longer than a normal eraser would. It works well and is perfect for erasing something small, so I would definitely recommend trying this out. Finally, I just have a few items that I got at the same place as the Muji items, but are not of the Muji brand. The first item is this box of marble desk notes from the brand Peter Popper Press. 
I'm a bit disappointed with these as I thought these were sticky like post-its, but they're not. They're just marble pattern sheets of paper that I guess can be used as small reminders and such. But they were quite expensive, so you may want to ask yourself if they're really necessary for you before considering getting them. Then from the store Panduro, I got these highlighters, which are the Faber-Castell text liners. I've seen these on Instagram and I've been wanting to try them out, so I was so happy when I found them in Sweden. The highlighters work really well, the colors are bright without being neon, and they don't bleed through the paper. I would say these are a very good alternative to the Stabilo Boss highlighters if you're looking for highlighters that don't bleed through the paper but still have a bright color. Then I got another notepad for to-do lists and this is the yellow and white one from the brand Lagerhaus that says make it happen. I really like how this adds a bit of color to my desk while still being quite simple and I also like that it's got space for writing lots of things. It was on sale as well, so it was super cheap and I am very happy I got it. Next, I got something that I've been wanting for such a long time, and that is these knock knock notepads. I got the action items one, which was 50% off, as well as the classic weekly one. These are so useful for organizing everything I have to do, especially when I'll probably have lots of assignments for university this year. They're simple, but still add some color to everything, and they've got space for writing down everything I need to do. I would say that these are definitely worth all the attention they've gotten online, and I am very glad that I got them. Then the final thing I got in Sweden was this regular pink notebook which is also from the Lagerhaus brand. It is a lined notebook that is made of recycled paper I believe. The paper is thicker than lots of other notebooks so I don't think you'll have troubles with pens bleeding or shadowing through. I'll probably use this as a to-go notebook rather than one I use for neat study notes but it will certainly be put to good use. So that is it for this stationery haul and review. I hope this was helpful and that you got some tips for stationery you might want to get yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with another video.